Последние 90 лет мы не могли себе даже представить, I realize the responsibility that I am taking for what I'm about to say now, but I can truly say my government will not steal. I know it seems miraculous for Ukraine. I know that the number one problem of this country is corruption. And I'm still telling you, not only will the government not steal, but the government will also not take bribes. The first thing we will do is we'll break the chain of corruption. We will set the system so that the ministers won't take bribes. And it too is your, is Not president one of, of the past presidents of Ukraine has spoken about God so openly and has demonstrated his faith like this president does. This country will see now more freedom and liberty uh, by having Yushchenko as president. And we hope that it will not only be freedom for the Orthodox and Catholic churches, but also for the Protestant churches as well. We have great faith. And faith gives strength. This is the only source of what we have called the Orange Revolution. For the first time in history, a woman has become Prime Minister of our country. Having suffered enough from past officials and gone through the Orange Revolution, she came to the government with a clear understanding of her tasks. Arrest, incarceration, persecution of relatives, and the prosecution's antics made Yulia Tymoshenko seek for strength and security in the Lord. And only God, who sees the motives of the heart, has brought her out of all the difficulties with triumph, and has entrusted her with this responsibility. During this election, Ukraine became the center of the world's attention. Ukraine is not only our hope, but also the world. So if we are talking about the faith of our nation in Ukraine, I want to tell you that everyone is our country. And our nation today is the country that is carrying a unique mission to the world. We can set completely new standards for social and political life. There is another woman in the government, the Minister of Culture, Oksana Bilodeo. As a true believer and a well-loved artist of Ukraine, she is working with the leaders of different Christian denominations and partaking in various charity actions. If all that is happening in Ukraine is controlled by God, he has an excellent sense of humor. I say this because he put Alexander Torchinov, whose family was persecuted for their religious convictions by the KGB during Soviet times, as the head of the Ministry of Security. We are offering you publicly a clear and responsible policy. We must regain our consciousness. We have to look differently at the processes to which we have gotten used to during the last 14 years. The members of the old post-communist regime became its first victims. All the traps must be covered. Banker Yuri Lach, Minister of Transport Georgi Kirpa, ex-Minister of Internal Affairs Yuri Kravchenko. Who's next? How many victims still need to be sacrificed on the altar of this monstrous regime? God said that Ukraine is a new country and no one will change it. Nothing and no one will stop this revival. This is not just a revolution. This is the revival of the Holy Spirit. Man has not done it. It was done by the Spirit of the Lord. And he is the one that guarantees
Среди активистов помаранчевой революции благодарственными письмами и грамотами президента отмечены многие прихожане посольства Божьего, в том числе и старший пастор Сандей Аделаджа. We hope our country will finally wake up from the lethargic stupor it was in for the last 10 years. I want to be myself. I want to speak my own language. I want to be proud that I am Ukrainian, that I am living in this country, in Kyiv. We will use our constitutional rights and won't forget about our obligations. Believe in Ukraine. Love Ukraine. Love Ukraine. And serve Ukraine. Glory to you. To everyone.